shad tubes, minnow tubes, soft plastic grubs. Get serious about trout and landlocked king trolling with serious soft plastics from the Fish Hunt Shoot Production Store. Folks, Cal Kellogg here. It's a little breezy, but I don't think you'll have any problem hearing me. Um, I've been weed whacking all morning. It's a Saturday, so I'm getting ready to head to the showers. But I've been getting a lot of questions lately about sonar units in reference to trout and landlocked salmon fishing. And they usually go, you know, along these lines. I've got a small boat or a canoe or a kayak. Do I really need a sonar unit? And the short answer is, you'd be crazy not to have a sonar unit. Now, I like to say, I like to say this to Wes a lot, I like to see a fish and catch a fish. Yeah, that, that's true in a perfect world. Here's a perfect example of that. I'm gonna put up some footage here. This is Rollins Reservoir back in January. I saw fish, I saw bait. Fish were obviously feeding on the bait. I started pulling speed spoons and I put a whooping on those trout two days in a row, fishing the same bank. Big numbers of fish, can't remember the exact number, but 20 plus a day, really nice holdover rainbows. And uh, it was just a good time. I saw the fish and I caught the fish. Now check out this footage. Um, this is when Wes and I were up at Orville this winter. Um, we caught a lot of salmon in the one to four pound class and we marked very few fish. We were fishing, essentially fishing about 50 feet deep over 75 feet of water. And uh, we would just occasionally, you know, have one of the downriggers go off and we would have a big, beautiful king on the line, but we weren't targeting any marks whatsoever. And that, that's kind of a situation that I come across a great deal. You know, sometimes, yes, I'm marking fish, I'm seeing arches and I'm catching those fish. Other times I'm trolling through an area which, you know, by what I'm seeing on the sonar screen seems to be absolutely devoid of life and I'm catching fish. Had this, uh, you know, a few days ago up at French Meadows, I'm catching fish 15 to 20 feet deep and I am marking absolutely nothing on the sonar screen, but I'm having good fish and catching two, three fish an hour, you know, that morning. So I really don't know what to think about that. But, but in the big broad view of things, I use my sonar unit, and you will too, for a lot more than actually seeing fish. One, I, 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 I wouldn't run a unit that doesn't have a GPS, um, because that tells me what my speed is and what the water temperature is. The, the absolutely critical. The surface temperature tells me, you know, kind of about where I could expect the trout and salmon to be holding, and the speed tells me if I'm maintaining an appropriate speed for any given lure. Very important. Um, the other aspect of a sonar unit is it's going to save you a lot of frustration because it obviously tells you how deep it is. If you're running along with a downrigger 40 feet deep and you're coming up on a hump that you know you have no reason to believe is there, you know, underwater, that, that's within 20 feet of the surface, you're gonna drag your downrigger ball and if you're at a place like Folsom, you may lose the downrigger ball. It may end up getting wedged in that granite and uh, you, may, you may be out of luck. So very important, you know, trout aren't always on the, on the surface or up at the surface. Kings rarely are. A kokanee almost never. So you're gonna be doing some kind of controlled depth fishing when targeting those species. So it's absolutely critical for you to know what the bottom's doing at any given time or you're gonna end up losing a lot of gear and you're gonna spend a lot of time tangled. Finally, structure, 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 structure. Structure holds fish. I don't care if you're fishing for bass or kings or rainbows or what. Structure and exploring structure is very important. Points, drop-offs, flats, flats with stumps, flats with humps, humps in open water. All that kind of structure holds fish. Orville, no, we weren't marking fish. We, were, we marked some fish down deep, couldn't catch it. So I knew what to do. The more active fish were apt to be up on structure, probably wouldn't be a lot of them, might not be able to mark them, but I figured if we worked the ends of big major points long enough, we would start hitting fish and we would dial in a depth that would allow us to have a pretty decent day. And that's exactly what happened. We were getting those fish, I think our hot depth for that day, for some reason, 54 feet keeps coming to mind. But I, I remember we, were, we would get out off those points, we would get into the, the section of the point that was under about 75 feet of water, we would work our blades and tubes about 50 feet deep, we were hooking fish, and I think, I think on the day we might have marked one or two fish in that area, but uh, there are a lot more fish in that there. So, long story short, 
you'd be crazy not to have a sonar unit. A sonar unit, a, a medium to low price sonar unit today has all the features that you would have paid a thousand dollars for 10 years ago and you're gonna get that unit for a few hundred bucks. I can't remember what I paid for my Hook 5 that's on my, my Lawrence Hook 5 that's on my kayak. Um, I wanna say $299, um, a couple more bucks for some, uh, some mounting hardware if I recall correctly, um, but bottom line, sub $400, and I have a unit that, that is you know, pretty much equal to the, the high-end Lawrence units I was running on my sponsored boats a decade ago. So. You're investing in the fishing trip, you've invested in some kind of watercraft, rods, reels, bait, worms, you know the deal, you know the rest, thermal socks, the whole thing. Spend a few hundred bucks, get a sonar unit. It's gonna give you a lot of information that is absolutely critical if your goal is to consistently catch more and bigger fish. Get a sonar unit, don't be a cheapskate. Your wife's been telling you that. Well, she might not have been telling you to get a sonar unit, but she's been telling you, don't be a cheapskate. So anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I am signing off. If you're looking for trout gear, high quality stuff, spoons, soft plastic, rods, all kinds of stuff, a plethora of fishing gear, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com. Check out my store, quality gear at a fair price, the stuff you see me using here on the channel. And uh, you know it performs, it performs well and uh, it will not let you down. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Hit the subscribe button. I'm out of here. I got to hit the showers. I smell like, uh, I don't smell so hot. So anyway, I will catch you later. I'm Kel Kellogg. Have a great day.